Boeing just delivered 600 aircraft in 2025. Everyone noticed, but one number tells a bigger story. The 787 Dreamliner received over 300 orders last year. Production slots are sold out until 2030. Airlines are waiting years for deliveries. Boeing is building a massive new facility to double production. What makes this aircraft so critical to Boeing's future? Let's find out. Boeing delivered 88 Boeing 787 Dreamliners in 2025. Part of the company's 600 total aircraft deliveries announced January 13, 2026. The 787 program recorded 311 net orders during 2025, making it Boeing's best-selling wide-body aircraft and the second-highest annual order total in Dreamliner history. Only 2007, when Boeing received 369 orders, surpassed 2025 performance. The 787 backlog reached 1,076 unfulfilled orders at the close of 2025, according to Boeing's year-end figures. Production slots for the Dreamliner are currently sold out until approximately 2030 based on current manufacturing rates. Airlines placing orders today face delivery timelines extending into the early 2030s. Delta Airlines ordered 378710 aircraft on January 13, 2026, with deliveries scheduled to begin in 2031. Boeing operates 787 production exclusively at its North Charleston, South Carolina facility following the closure of the Everett Washington assembly line during the COVID-19 pandemic. The company currently manufactures approximately 7787 aircraft monthly, up from five per month at the start of 2025. Boeing targets increasing production to eight aircraft monthly during 2026, with further expansion to 10 per month planned for 2027. The manufacturer is constructing a major new facility at its North Charleston site to expand 787 production capacity. This $1 billion investment will double final assembly line capacity when completed in 2028. The expansion enables Boeing to reach production rates of 16 aircraft monthly, surpassing the pre-pandemic peak of 14 per month achieved in 2019. Ground was broken on the new facility in 2025 with initial operations expected later in 2026. Boeing CFO Jesus Malav stated at a December 2025 UBS conference that the company expects significant delivery increases for both 737 and 787 programs in 2026, saying, The beauty of increasing our delivery rates is that the working capital cycle will move faster. So, your holding period, just your cycle time, will be lower. You'll be moving inventory faster, which frees up cash. The 787 program generates higher revenue per aircraft compared to narrow-body jets making delivery increases particularly valuable for Boeing's financial recovery. The 787-9 variant represents the most popular configuration among airlines. Boeing received no orders for the smaller 787-8 during 2025, with all commitments split between the 787-9 and larger 787-10 models. The 787-9 seats approximately 296 passengers in typical two-class configuration, and offers 7,635 nautical mile range. The 787-10 accommodates approximately 330 passengers with 6,430 nautical mile range. Airlines select between variants based on route requirements and capacity needs. Major 787 orders during 2025 included Qatar Airways, committing to 120 aircraft during a May White House visit, valued at approximately $96 billion, including both 787 and 777X variants. This represents the largest 787 order in Boeing history. British Airways and Korean Air also placed substantial Dreamliner orders during 2025. Air Astana ordered up to 15 787 aircraft announced in November 2025, including five firm commitments. Delta Airlines represents a particularly significant customer. The carrier historically operated Airbus wide-body aircraft exclusively after retiring Boeing 747 and 777 jets. Delta canceled an order for 18 Dreamliners inherited from Northwest Airlines acquisition in 2016 citing production delays and quality concerns. The January 2026 order for 378710 aircraft marks Delta's first direct Boeing wide-body purchase in over a decade and signals restored confidence in Boeing's execution capabilities. 
The 787 addresses specific airline requirements that drive wide-body demand in 2026. Airlines need fuel-efficient aircraft to replace aging Boeing 767 and 777 fleets as well as older Airbus A330 variants. The Dreamliner offers approximately 25% fuel efficiency improvement per seat compared to previous generation wide-body jets. Fuel represents 25-30% to of airline operating costs, making efficiency advantages critically important to profitability. International travel demand recovery supports wide-body aircraft orders. Transatlantic travel between North America and Europe has rebounded to exceed pre-pandemic levels. Trans-Pacific routes connecting North America to Asia show strong growth. Airlines require wide-body capacity to serve these markets. Premium travel demand particularly drives wide-body requirements as business class and premium economy seats generate disproportionate revenue for carriers. The 787 enables airlines to open new long-haul routes that cannot support larger wide-body aircraft. Routes connecting secondary cities directly rather than through major hubs require aircraft combining range and capacity and efficiency. The Dreamliner serves these thin long-haul markets profitably. Examples include routes like Austin to Frankfurt or Nashville to London or Portland to Tokyo. These city pairs generate sufficient demand for 787 operations but cannot fill 777 or A350 aircraft daily. Boeing's composite airframe construction provides operational advantages beyond fuel efficiency. Composite materials resist corrosion and demonstrate superior fatigue characteristics compared to aluminum. This reduces heavy maintenance intervals and extends time between major structural inspections. Airlines achieve higher aircraft utilization rates because Dreamliners spend less time undergoing maintenance checks. The 787 cabin maintains 6,000-foot altitude rather than typical 8,000 feet used on aluminum wide bodies, reducing passenger fatigue on ultra-long-haul flights. Airbus competes directly with its A350 family. The A350-900 and A350-1000 variants target similar market segments as the 787-9 and 787-10, respectively. Airbus delivered 55 A350s in 2025, according to preliminary data. However, Rolls-Royce Trent X WB engine production constraints limit A350 delivery rates. These supply chain challenges create opportunities for Boeing to capture orders from airlines prioritizing near-term deliveries. Engine availability also affects Boeing. General Electric manufactures Gen X engines for the 787 at facilities in Ohio. Engine production must increase proportionally with aircraft manufacturing rates to prevent delivery delays. GE has committed to supporting Boeing's production ramp-up plans through 2026 and beyond. The company operates parallel programs to expand Gen X manufacturing capacity, matching Boeing's Charleston facility expansion. The 787 backlog provides Boeing with predictable revenue extending years into the future. Airlines cannot cancel orders without financial penalties. This locked-in demand protects Boeing from market volatility and provides stability for long-term planning. The company can invest confidently in production capacity expansion, knowing customer commitments exist to absorb increased output. Boeing's wide-body strategy depends heavily on 787 success. The 777X remains uncertified with entry into service delayed to 2027. The final 777-300ER passenger aircraft was delivered in 2024. The 787 Dreamliner represents Boeing's most critical wide-body program in 2026. Strong order momentum and expanding production capacity and airlines' urgent need for fuel-efficient long-haul aircraft position the Dreamliner as central to Boeing's recovery strategy. Success delivering these aircraft consistently while expanding manufacturing rates will determine whether Boeing can sustain the momentum achieved in 2025 and close the competitive gap with Airbus in wide-body aviation.